So in this video we're going to look at some higher level thinking, that is a compare and a contrast of current and voltage in series and parallel. So this is a really good way of um, developing your high level thinking is to apply a compare and contrast um, process. Comparisons are things that are the same, um, contrasts are things that are different and um, depending on how you look at it the compares and contrasts will be the same but we're basically looking at the two things. So first of all, series circuit is a just a very simple um, circuit with a uh, voltage of the supply, Vs, and we've got two resistors in series. Okay, Vs stands for supply, not for series, but we'll just write series there. Now, um, our parallel, Vs, the supply of the parallel can be the same of the parallel circuit. Um, we're going to have two resistors also. Doesn't matter what the resistor values are, that's not what we're getting at here. So the series in parallel. Now when we're doing a compare and contrast you can make this in a neat table but I'll leave it pictorially for you. Um, your current in series is going to be the same for both the resistors. You have the same value of the current in every point in the circuit. There's no splitting up so the current has to be the same. Okay. When we compare to the parallel circuit we see that there is a contrast because our original current here is going to split, we'll call that I1, into two different currents which add together, we'll call that I3 because we don't know if the resistance values are the same, so I2 and I3 could be different, but either way I2 coming down here has to add up, uh, plus I3 has to add up to I1. So the current is splitting up, um, that's, our, that's our key here, it's just a little bit more space. Um, so current splits, okay, but it adds to the total. Now um, we can do the same thing with voltage. In our series circuit, um, we know that the voltage of the supply uh, is going to split up over the two there. So V splits, so that V1 plus V2 equals Vs. Our comparison to the parallel circuit shows another contrast where um, Vs is the same. So the voltage is the same across every part that's the same in a parallel branch. Um, so the two resistors, doesn't matter what values they are, but the voltage will be the same. Um, we can get into a little, just a tiny little bit more detail about why this is um, when we understand um, that our voltage values um, are the energy difference between the two points. If I just throw in a third color, a fourth color there, I don't really like doing more than three colors, but um, if we talk about um, a single coulomb of charge passing through here that might have say six joules per coulomb, so six joules on that one coulomb charge, um, we know down here for one coulomb you also have to have six joules, which means, uh, and on the other side being no more resistance before it goes back to the supply, that same coulomb will have zero, same here, that same coulomb will have zero. So you've dropped six joules per coulomb, or six volts, across both of those um, those resistors. Now the difference again, the current is splitting, so you might have um, you might have ten times the amount of coulombs going through, but each coulomb is still carrying the same amount of energy, which is what voltage is all about—the definition of voltage. Okay, um, and I'll throw it onto the other side um, when we're looking at voltage again here. Um, if our supply is six. Our single coulomb of charge might start with six coulombs here. Um, that same single coulomb of charge might only have three, and then at the end it obviously has to have zero. So our voltage is dropped from six to three to zero. We would say three volts, and three volts um, adding up to the six volt supply. So that's why your voltage uh, does what it does. Current's a bit easier to see because there's alternate pathways in the parallel branch. Um, so there you go, there's a comparison and a contrast or a highlight of all the contrasts between series and parallel for current and voltage.